The England team for the Euros is going to be dropped in the next five minutes, and I really hope that there's no... I really hope that there's no stinkers here. Let's get stuck into this, shall we? Yo, it's me, Big Nose. Do you want the best player on the game? Well, you can't get Di Marnie, because he's probably not in FIFA. So... Get Phil Bosley. Get all the Phil Bosley. So if you're looking for the best way to get coins, don't spend for your points. Go over to userandbuy.com for the cheapest place on the market for your coins. Use code VISA at checkout and most importantly, enjoy the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, how you all doing? And welcome back to a new video on my channel today. We're getting straight into the England Euro 2020 lineup. The provisional lineup anyway, which I believe has 30 players that will be joining it. And I believe that'll be now down to 26 eventually. I think it'll be the 1st of June. That's when the actual official 26 final players are put in. I don't know if they're waiting for players that may be injured or whatever else. Which is interesting to think because it means that if there is 30 players instead of a provisional, that means that there's going to be some players that will be removed and missing out. Which is kind of harsh, I think. It's really harsh. If you imagine if one of these players that maybe can maybe or may not be in it and you actually are put into it to then be took out of it, I think that's really harsh, I think. If you guys have not seen my thoughts on Euros in terms of my predictions or also kits, then go and check that out. Maybe I'll link down below in the description and tell me down below in the comments your thoughts on this lineup when it does come out, which should be out in three minutes time. And I really, really hope that there's no stinkers here. I just, I, I'm just, okay, so what do I want? Trent must be there. Okay, I've, I've been seeing links that Trent may not be there. I, 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 he best be there, otherwise there will be a, an absolute calamity online. Um, I'm hoping that Nick Port may still make it, but apparently he may actually be injured. Uh, a shoulder injury. He's got an injury, I think a surgery or something this week, which is... Uh, if that's the case, and that's uh, that, that's devastating. I, he really does deserve to be England's number one. And um, I mean, as a Burnley fan, I may be biased, but... I think he's the best goalkeeper, and I think most people also agree that as well. So if he does miss for that reason, that's really, really gutting for him. Burnley fan, for me personally, is a bias level. I do think James Tarkowski should be not even a question. I don't know why he's just not being thought of in almost every single stat you can look at. He's one of the best for any England centre-back. I don't really understand what the issue is. We've got one minute left. Let's go and see this lineup. It's going to be weird to see which players get taken out, and I guess we'll have a discussion about that. So let's get stuck in. Three, two, one, and the team should be announced now. Let's go and refresh here on Twitter. Right. Okay, so this is the official thing. So there's no Nick Pop. There's no Nick Pop. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking from top to bottom, uh, but I see 33 players. 33 players. So that means there's seven players here that will be that will be removed. So there's four keepers. Um, which is involving Sam Johnstone and Aaron Ramsdale. Aaron Ramsdale must be taken out. Like, the guy's been relegated twice. Johnstone deserves to be. If it is, if Nick Pope can't make it, then I guess it means that, um, I guess I'd rather have Johnstone there, I guess, in, ahead of Ramsdale. So, yeah, okay. Defenders, Trent. Trent is there. Okay. Ben Chilwell, Connor Cody. Cody, really? Not even Wolves fans rate him anymore. Ben Godfrey at Everton. Right. Tyrone Mings. Ben White? There's no James Tarkowski. So you're putting Connor Cody ahead of James Tarkowski. Right, okay. Um, and Ben White? Ben White ahead of Lewis Dunk. That's interesting. I swear that most Brighton fans would rate Dunk ahead of Ben White. So to put Ben White ahead of Dunk is, I find it very very odd. Um, again, this is a provisional team. You would imagine a person that's on the outskirts like a Ben White or Cordy possibly won't even make it. That's what I find really harsh. I find it really harsh to do this, to have 33 players. Like, 33 players as the provisional team. And then I presume the actual final team will be next week. It says next week. I find that really harsh. Oh, there's also no Tomori. Tomori people really wanted him in for Mason Lines. He's, he's done quite well right over there. But yeah, Ben White, Connor Cody, Ben Godfrey. I mean, Ben, ben God, Tyrell Mings. Like, again, Tyrell Mings, it's like Brighton. I swear most Aston Villa fans would rate Consa ahead of Tyrell Mings. I don't, I, I don't, I, I find it really weird. I don't, I, I find it really weird. Like, I guess you could say, yeah, Tarky doesn't play in a, a passing system, I guess. I guess you could maybe say that. Um, sure, even though I feel like he's not done a foot wrong in terms of passing the ball, he's just not been given the option to do that. Again, people could be biased, but I just find it really harsh that Tarky isn't put in, but Connor Cody is. Which, again, Wolves have been awful this year. 
Wolves have been, I swear to God, I've been seeing so many Wolves fans disrespect Cordy. So the fact that he's there, again, I find it weird. So, but anyway, Trent's there. Trent is there. Um, Chilwell and Luke Shaw left-hand side. And then we got Trent. Um, Kevin Trippier. Kieran Trippier, most people actually may be a bit, you know, annoyed at that, but he has done really well, I mean, you know, at Atletico Madrid, literally won La Liga, and he's played, I think, almost every game as a right-back, so to say that he doesn't deserve to be at least, you know, in the conversation, I think is a bit unfair, I think people just look at Premier League and that's it, but, yeah, Kieran Trippier, I mean, he's done quite well, and, yo, he was a big part of our team back in the World Cup, you know, set pieces, you know, the free kick, but also just for set piece del deliveries, he's really good at that, um, so I think he deserves to be in that conversation as well, Kyle Walker, in midfield, Jude Bellingham, cool, Henderson, Henderson's there, I know he's been injured a lot to this year, but, um, I have no issues with him being there, Bellingham, um, again, I actually think that he deserves to be in there. Um, I think he deserves to stay in there in the actual main 26, in my opinion. Jesse Lingard, of course, great form and possible Cup squad in the past. Mason Mount, Calvin Phillips, Ward Prowse, and Declan Rice. Ward Prowse is probably the one that I would expect to probably um, be took out of that. But there's not many midfielders in there, to be, to be fair. And then there's the attacker. So there's Cabot Lewin. Cab. So, and then there's the attacker. So there's Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin's made it. Okay. Phil Forden. Grealish. Nice. Greenwood. A young player. Harry Kane, obviously. Rashford. Saka. Saka's in. That's interesting. And Sancho. Sterling. Oli Watkins. So, I mean, I have no issues of Watkins being in there. And Saka, I feel like, is an interesting one. Because he is a versatile player. He could be a, a left wing back or a left winger or whatever else. But... I don't know, and I feel like Arsenal fans will of course be really happy to see him in there. I feel like Saka would be one of the ones that would be took out of it, because looking at this, 33 players, 7 players in must be took out, because it's only 26 people allowed. So this is, I guess, you can have a look at each player in, take out 7, which that's really hard to do. Like the goalkeeper, Ramsdale, that should be quite easy, but the rest, to take out 6, that's going to be hard to do. So the players that missed, I guess the likes of Konsa is not in there, Tomori isn't in there. Um, I guess you could say maybe James Madison at Leicester. I feel like I shouldn't be saying this because I know that, um, you know, I've, I've meaned him a lot. But Patrick Bamford is a player which I, I'm sure a lot of Leeds fans will be really annoyed to see not given a chance. Bamford has got more goals and assists, the contributions, than Watkins and Calvert Lewin. Which I'm sure that if you're a Leeds fan, will be kind of frustrated to see him not being given a chance. And... I can understand why they'd be annoyed. And I guess you could also say Danny Ings. Danny Ings is in there as well, and he's done really well this year. But so has Cavaloon, and so has Watkins. So I guess it's just pick and choose at that stage. So we look at this, and now I've got to decide who, if I was the England manager, who would I take out? So this isn't thinking about, you know, whatever else, tactics. Just if I wanted to name the best England team, who would I take out of this seven, of this 33 players? Like, I've got to take out seven players. So Ramsdale will be gone, Okay. Easy. Connor Cordy, gone. Okay. How Cordy is back in this, I do not know. Um, between Ben White and Ben Guffey, I gotta say Ben White, because I don't even think he's even the best. I don't think he's even the best Bryson centre back. Like, I'd rather put Lewis Dunk in there ahead of Ben White. And you may call me harsh, maybe some Leeds fans may be upset with me, but I feel like Lewis Dunk. Not just I think it's better, but also is older, a bit more experienced. I think that it'd be a lot more useful um, than Ben White. Now, you may say Ben White is a much more progressive centre-back and he passed the ball a lot better. And you may be right there, but I still feel like most Brighton fans would agree. And that's the real thing that matters because they've seen them week in, week out. They'll prefer Lewis Dunk to Ben White. And probably even Tyrone Mings as well, because I just don't really see... I'd rather have Concer ahead of it because I still think he's the better Aston Villa centre-back. Be Ramsdale, Cordy, White. I think they'll keep Mings because I think he's been there a bit more often than those or those two. So I feel like they may just keep Mings in there. In the midfield, they probably will take out Ward Prowse. Um, I feel like they may not take out Phillips. I think they'll keep Phillips. Would I take out Jesse Lingard? I honestly wouldn't. I wouldn't take out Jesse Lingard. I think he's a good player. And also, he's been a part of the World Cup team, which did really well. You may say take out Kieran Trippier, because there's technically two or three right-backs there. But then it's decided on who I think of the attackers will be gone. And I think it'd be Saka. I just don't think he'll be making the final 26. And then, I think Greenwood. Greenwood has been, like, very inconsistent this year. If you actually look at his, like, actual game, like, what he's done in games, he's still a young kid. He is. He's still a young kid. And I, I would like to take him there. But I just kind of feel like I'd rather play which is more primed now 
than a player just to take there for experience. You know, I'd rather have a Ollie Watkins there ahead of a Greenwood. Um, just as of right now, I don't think he's a bad player, Greenwood. I think he's a I think that he's a fantastic player and will be a very important player for us in the future. I just feel like, would I, would I rather have a player in there now, which I know would be the main guy? And one of Cavett Lewin and Watkins will be gone. Um, and I think, I think he will stick with Lewin. I think he'll stick with Cavett Lewin. I don't know why. I just feel like he may stay. The only thing I can imagine Greenwood staying for is the fact that he is somewhat versatile and the fact that he can play as a right winger or like a striker or a, a left, even a left cam in a sense. They can like switch positions. So my final seven to take out would be Ramsdale, Cordy, Ben White, Ward Prowse, Ward Prowse, Ollie Watkins, Saka, and Greenwood. That would be my seven that I would take out. I think Lingard just has better experience and will be there for right now. I love Greenwood and I feel real harsh not having not having him there. And I feel harsh not having Bamford there. Uh, Bamford, I think, deserves to be really given a shout. Um, at least in the 33, at least. You know, I think it should be his name ahead of Greenwood, personally. That's my thoughts on the England team and tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. If you guys did enjoy, smash the like button and also subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time for another video. Out of 10, it's a decent team, but if you compare our team to like a team like France, I mean, Anyone's team compared to France is going to be a bit of a sticky one. Even maybe Portugal. They've got a really good team. So, yeah, I'm still going to be supporting the boys. Hope for the best. And we'll see who they actually end up with for the final 26 next week. So, I'll see you guys then. Enjoy yourself and peace out.